What's poppin' everyone? This is Saberwolf94, and I want to talk a little bit today about something pretty dear to my heart. Uh, probably my favorite, well, it is my favorite video game franchise, but uh, it's not Pokemon, by the way. I'm, maybe p people thought I would say Pokemon, but no, it's not Pokemon. Uh, my favorite video game of all time would definitely be Pokemon Emerald, but as far as franchises go... I have to say Castlevania is number one. Like, I, I, I love I love that shit so much. But yeah, we're going to talk about Castlevania a little bit now. And Castlevania Harmony of Despair and Konami for the most part. Now, I do want to say that, you know, Bloodstained, uh, of course, I am a backer. I also recommend that you back that shit now that you have the chance. Uh, you can still... Back, this game is pretty much a pre-order at this point, but if you want to get, you know, the awesome collectible shit and get an awesome game, I do recommend that you do that. But uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Bloodstained is going to be awesome. I have no doubts about that. It's going to be the kind of single-player Egovania game uh, that we waited for so long, and it's going to be great that it's going to be on the big consoles as well, and they're gonna, you know, they're putting the money, they're putting the graphics, it's basically gonna be like the DS games we love, and the Symphony of the Night that we love, but on a much, much bigger scale, and I think that's, you know, obvious, but I want to emphasize that it's gonna be like a fucking Ecovania game, like times 10, let's say, uh, maybe that's a overstatement, but you guys know what I mean, it's gonna be great. However, I do want to say that I really, really miss uh, Harmony of Despair. Now, I know you can still play that shit, but uh, for various sort of reasons, I had to remove my PlayStation 3 from the TV. I just have my PlayStation 4 over there, but uh, even if I had it, you know, I would play Harmony of Despair uh, every now and then and maybe find some people online and keep trying keep playing the same stages trying to get some of the rarest shit that I still can't find and, and that's one of the problems um, that I want to talk about about that game but the thing is is that even though this bloodstained the single experience it's gonna be great I really feel like that Castlevania uh, the 2d series as we know it um, you know with the games that Koji Igarashi uh, is basically responsible for and uh, in charge of, like, Aria of Sorrow, Dawn of Sorrow, uh, Harmony of Dissonance, uh, Portrait of Ruin, uh, Symphony of the Night, Order of Ecclesia, all these games, uh, that sort of Game Boy Advance, DS, and uh, a few other games, too, uh, that he's responsible for. I really feel like that sort of Castlevania those Castlevania characters and those, the Castlevania items, uh, sprites, armors, all that shit, the items and stuff, they really um, are at their best in a kind of game like Harmony of Despair. So what I'm trying to say, if I don't make sense while I'm talking this random shit, is that I really feel like this sort of MMO thing that Harmony of Despair was going with, that it's kind of, I don't want to say the future, that's kind of a heavy shit to say, but it's kind of a really cool concept that works perfectly with Castlevania. Uh, I'm very regretful, but I guess it shouldn't be that surprising from Konami, but I'm very regretful that Konami didn't want to invest, that didn't want to support more uh, Harmony of Despair, or maybe redo this shit again and just do it more right, if that makes sense. Uh, because you know, it has like 11 stages, it's got a lot of items, a lot of shit, a lot of characters, a, a lot of good stuff, but it could have went, it could have went um, uh, somewhere more, uh, you know, even if I had the PlayStation on, the PlayStation 3 plugged in, and played that shit, it's just the thing that, uh, well, the first thing is that you want more stages, you want more shit, that's the kind of thing that makes this sort of MMOs and what make that game, you know, cool. 
in the first place. And another thing is, of course, we do want some arrangements and changes like, man, I fucking played like some stages, like, uh, I think it was stage nine, yeah, like a fucking billion times with people. Like, I would play that game and some expert Japanese player would like beat the boss in like uh, one, one minute. Like, we would start the game and that the boss will already be dead. I played that stage like a billion fucking times. And still, like, can't get Alucard Sword plus one and uh, the Philosopher Stone items. That w I have one Philosopher Stone, but, you know, those kind of rare items, they really made it a fucking pain in the ass to get. Like, basically, the only reason to play those games after you beat all the stages and the bosses and stuff like that is if you want to collect all the items, maybe you want to build your character to the maximum and stuff like that, that kind of thing. Uh, that's the only reason I feel like, well, part of a big reason you would replay the game a million times. And you think about it, um, with only 11 stages and such limited content, uh, we've I've played that game for fucking hours on it, and I probably have like uh, 100 hours on it. That's impressive. And uh, other people too in Japan and in, uh, in America and... You know, they, they played the shit out of the, that game and they have characters like Soma Cruz with all the gear and all the shit. And I'm pretty sure they must have, uh, I think at least, they, they played that shit for like hours. And think about it. I mean, such limited content that we liked it so much, we played it so fucking much. I mean, it's the kind of game that I would drop some money into it. And I know we got the whole, you know, loot boxes, microtransactions bullshit. That's very controversial. Contra controversial, and I'm actually glad in the UK they're investigating if the loot boxes gambling and shit because that that's fucked up. You never see me. Um, I don't care what the fuck it is. They they have to really like mess with my brain so much for me to get a new IP and be dropping you know microtransaction money into it, essentially paying like let's say five hundred five hundred pounds uh, to play a $60 game and shit. I would much rather they raise the prices of games and not do shit like that, but anyway, I digress. But the thing with the um, Harmony of Despair, I actually spent some good money on it. I mean, I got the game for like, what? how much was it? Like 20 bucks or something? I don't know, but, you know, I bought all the characters, bought uh, all the stages, you know, bought some different types of shit, bought the extra music and stuff, you know, it kind of bumps up, like, how much money did I spend on it? I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's probably not hundreds of dollars, I think, maybe it's like 50 or, I don't know, 60, I'm not really sure, but the thing is, if they did it right and they kept giving us some stages or at least you know, make it have a good run, like, you introduce stages, and you introduce shit for a couple of years, and then, okay, if you're gonna quit adding content, at least we have a lot of shit to work with. Uh, if you do things right, you can just give us content, you know, quit, and we'll still be playing it for a long time, like with Harmony of Despair. But I really do feel like that's a wasted opportunity, that's, uh, that was a really smart concept, um, if Iga... Uh, thought of that. I'm not really sure if that was his last game. To be honest, this Harmony of Despair is kind of shrouded in mystery, if you ask me. But, yeah, I really want that sort of multiplayer, that sort of local multiplayer 2 kind of shit. It really just works great. Um, maybe, I guess, if Bloodstained becomes a franchise, but I really think that... Um, We'll get this game and maybe a, a second one. Uh, I think they confirmed in the forums and stuff that he's definitely interested in the second one. He's probably going to do a second one. Uh, I don't know how many sequels it's going to be, but it'd be great if maybe Bloodstained became a franchise and uh, eventually we can do this Harmony of Despair shit, but Bloodstained style. But it really sucks that, you know, Konami... You know, it's probably not going to do such a thing. It would be great, but I guess it's very, 
it's open to e exploitation, you know, this sort of concept. They would probably fuck it up with uh, microtransactions and bullshit, but... And then, even though I said I would pay, they would make me, okay, yeah, this is some bullshit. But it would be great, because I know that if done right, it would be pretty cool, it would be pretty fun. Uh, like, even if they wanted to fix Harmony of Despair, like, maybe add some fucking stages, like, pretty much the stages in that game are, like, recycled stages, for the most part, from games on the DS and stuff like that, so, you're telling me you couldn't make a fucking few more, and maybe if you advertise the game, you won't get other people if you, like, make the gameplay more slicker, more smoother, because it, uh, it is kind of lame, um, only people like me that are already fans can enjoy that shit, I really don't feel like a lot of uh, outside Castlevania fans would think that shit is cool, but who knows. But yeah, if they improved it, if they brought some extra stages, I think it would have been cool. It would have gone a long way. You know, they did a lot of cool and clever shit, you know, with stages such as stage 10. Well, it's basically the first Castlevania, uh, the whole stage, you know. Do that with uh, Simon's Quest 2 or Castlevania 3 or, you know, something. I don't know. Uh, you know, fix the ratios and stuff on the items. Um, I don't know, there's a lot of shit they could have done. But anyways, guys, uh, I could probably talk about this for hours. Um, Castlevania is my favorite franchise, pretty much. It's just, I played Pokemon, like, for as long as I, I can remember, ever since I was a kid. Like, through the days of gold and silver, pretty much. Um... I don't want to exaggerate and say red and blue because, you know, even though they were around, I think I kind of, it was just about that I missed the mark. But, thing is, is that, even though I played, I probably played Pokemon more than I'll ever play Castlevania like ever. Uh, Pokemon has been half my life, to say the least. But, when I play Castlevania, I really just feel like this is my favorite game franchise, this is my, my favorite characters, my favorite concepts, you know, all the items, all the shit that you do, uh, it's just great, and, you know, it really sucks that we're not getting a, an adequate, I guess you could say, uh, uh, Castlevania portion, uh, Castlevania-like food, I don't know how to explain it, um, I'm always fucked up with words. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, it, it really sucks. I don't know what the hell Konami's gonna do. Maybe with the new, um, with the Netflix show that went so well. Uh, I guess maybe it's gonna be inevitable that someday they might think, oh, you know what? Maybe there's money into it. Let's just do some Castlevania shit. I don't know. It really needs, uh, I think, time for things to change, maybe the whole mo mobile market uh, might, uh, I don't know, maybe with Nintendo Switch's popularity and stuff, people might change and be like, you know what, the uh, I want a console, I want some proper games and shit, and the way people buy and consume games and media might change again, and maybe they'll think, oh, you know what, we should make, you know, proper games again instead of this Pachinko shit. But whatever. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little rant, this little talk about Castlevania. I'll try and do more of these things, but yeah. That's what's up.